Okay, new ban list. I already talked about what I want to be in the ban list in a previous video, so I won't go over that and waste your time. And if you want to go uh, just have a look at what I want to be in the ban list, just go and watch that video. And without further ado, let's look at the ban list. Yippee! Um, there it is. Okay, they're just banning this. And they, sh they should have done that like last ban list. I didn't know why they didn't do it. A summon breaker is banned. Um, I that, I I mean that's fine. I'm fine with that. Just a bit sad that I you know it's a free to play, a uh, normal rarity field spell that um I I mean I could use my free to play decks, but I got, I guess I can't anymore. And uh honestly that's fine. Uh this card is really annoying, so it's nice to see it not uh, being able to be played any longer. Assemble Nightingale, I did talk about that. It is a part of my prediction. And yeah, it's good. Please <laughs> limit this card to one. Uh what? Oh, they're giving us hieratic support. Interesting. Well, I like hieratic, so that's that's fine. I I I mean if that means that they're giving us giving us more hieratic support, I'm all for it. Um Hydra's two one, that's good. So they don't they can't play alongside Super Poly, that's that's good. We don't need two ways that Predator Plants can get rid of our monsters without us being able to interact. I mean Super Poly is already annoying enough. You can't respond to it. We don't need another one. Planet to one, okay that's interesting, but yeah, that's good. Um that Pretty much what it does is that um, it stops your opponent, I mean it stops Predator Plant players for, uh, from making two Dragos to Pelias in one turn. So what they could previously do is um, send this card to the graveyard with um, like a, just a bunch of ways you can send this to the graveyard and then um, in your opponent's turn you can end on like a Dragos to Pelia and then discard in your graveyard and then you can negate one monster with your Dragos to Dragos to Pelia and then use the graveyard effect to fusion summon another one and then it's not hard ones per turn so you can just negate another monster and that's pretty good so yeah that's good and um even with all those hits I still want the skill to be hit because the skill is the biggest problem it just searches anything which is a bit too good uh Cobalt Sprout to 2 that's also part of my um prediction I think Warbler also to 2 that's good that's good more hits to Liralisk, please, I don't want to see that deck ever again! Um, Tassim Spiral, this card should be unlimited, I don't know why it's still in the ban list at any amount of copies. Overflow should be off the ban list yesterday! Uh, okay, Needle Ceiling is understandable, I mean, um, Trap Heavy decks are playing this card, and, um, alongside other limit free uh, traps or spells it's a bit too good uh yes more literalist kids <laughs> let's go uh jack frost to free that is good and lantern to free that's good that's good that's good uh, we don't need more limit free cards that ghost tricks can play that's good people were complaining that these two cards were at two and then when they actually released them it's actually a bit too strong even add to so yeah limit free that's good that's good no longer the list uh, Draco Berserker nobody cares punishment nobody cares on some blue robin that is concerning because um just being at one is under the assumption that um on some blue robin is also at one so they can't play them both but now um they are unlimiting it but I guess with all of these hits, it's fine, you know, all of these, um, limit twos, limit threes, limit one, it's, you know, it's fine. But, um, it's kinda, kinda annoying that, you know, limiting assembled Nightingale to one doesn't really do anything to stop Liralisk now that this is unlimited, because, you know, they only play one limited card, uh, limited one card anyway, so it doesn't change anything. They can still play um, both Ensemble Blue and Assembled. It, what it means is that other decks can't play Assembled that easily. For example, like Predator Plan. Because uh, Predator Plans, if you are not familiar, they do play Assembled Nightingale as part of the turn one board. And uh, Brave Nose, that's fine. Limited Removal, that's fine. They're literally removing the limit. <laughs> uh, 
Ishel should be unlimited ages ago. That's amazing. I love that. Light Brigade. That's, I, I love Charger for Light Brigade. Nice to see it unlimited. Um, Kluger is annoying, but understandable. Uh, Chaos Form, that's understandable. It's fine. Roland is fine. And Robert is fine. That's all fine. No changes to Rush, because I, even if there is, I don't think I will be able to comment on it a lot, because I don't really know about uh, the rush meta too much after you know the new fusion stuff okay uh skills Let's see if the protoplanet skill gets hit uh ba -ba -ba. okay okay strengthening these skill strengthening red eyes reverse okay they're hitting flirt that's good that's good they're not hitting protoplanet i mean that's um that's i, I would have liked them to hit the skill i talked about that in the previous video but, I mean, they did hit something else, so, you know, that's still good. Uh, Bloom of Avarice, um, it's just, uh, from your graveyard or Banished. Okay, so it can now shuffle from Banished, also from Banished, from Banished, from Banished. That, that's pretty good. Uh, that's nice. I mean, people still probably won't use this, uh, these type of skills anyway, if there is a broken skill that uh, your deck can use. But, you know, it's still good that they're buffing these kind of skills. Um, Red as Reavers, um, let's look at the previous skill, okay. During your duel, uh, if you have at least 7 red ass monsters in your deck, you can uh, normal uh, red ass black dragon without tributing. You can not special summon monsters except red eyes. And then uh, you can also change the position of red ass black dragon to, to turn its normal summoned. And then um, once per duel, if you control a red eyes, you can set a red eyes spell trap from your deck to your field, and then if you can don't control any normal monsters, you return one card from your hand to your deck. Okay, now let's see. Uh, okay, they're they're modernizing the skill. First of all, they're making it uh, written like every other broken skill that is made in the current day, which is you know that's good. It's more readable than uh, this pile of text. You can also special summon monsters except for red eyes monsters, excluding for the extra deck. You know, that that's a buff because um this locked you into anything, I believe. And um yep, it is more in line with the other uh broken skills for exclusive archetypes that are made nowadays. It's they all have this type of restriction, which I think is pretty good. It's a good from it's a it's a much better form of restriction, in my opinion, than you know, the skills that they did like two years ago where they force you to play a certain amount of uh in archetype cards in your main deck and then um and then at some point i think it's when the bls skill got released i think it's that time when they started to make skills that stop you from special summoning instead of you know forcing you to play a certain amount of cards in your main deck and that's good uh during your main phase play a okay it just you just it just completely changed the skill. It's just now you can just like put out the red eyes black dragon immediately, and then you cannot normal summon the turn you activate this effect. Um, so realistically, that is not that big of a change because um we we would uh previously just a normal set the red eyes and then flip it up immediately i guess it's just a, a better form of wording than before but um in practice it's pretty much the same thing um as i could tell because um what you're doing is still you're using your normal summon on a set red eyes black dragon which uh, bypasses the restriction of red eyes fusion which doesn't let you normal summon but it lets you normal set and then you can just flip it up immediately and then, oh, okay. So instead of returning a card if you don't have a normal monster, if now if you do, you draw a card. So you just go plus one. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, and also you can activate a turn. It's set if it's a trap. That's good. That's very nice. That's that's amazing. Um, hopefully with this buff, red eyes will see a bit more play. I do think even if um, Red Eyes gets a pretty good skill, um, it's it's not annoying, you know. It's it's not a, a an annoying type of deck. It has pretty fair play, so um, like a skill like this is basically um, Battle Chronicle, but for Red Eyes.
and that I think is fine because even Battle Chronicle isn't that good uh, currently. It's not even a tier list anymore, which is kind of funny. Um, let's see what they did to uh, the first skill. Okay, so it now summons face down, which it always should have been. I don't know why it didn't. And also, yeah, it summons it face down. Good. It should summon it face down the day the skill is made. Uh, so now you can't just go just make a Trishula from thin air, which is good. That's good. So um, it's exactly the same except it summons face down. That's all we need. That's that's literally all we need. We have been asking for this for the last like three months ever since the skill was meta. And that's good, that's good. They're finally uh, rebalancing the skill in the exact way I believe the majority of uh, players want the skill to be rebalanced. So not too hard. So um, you can still use the skill in a lot of decks, which I like because um, I like how uh, this skill doesn't really lock you from summoning anything. So you can use this skill in a lot of, a lot of different bad rogue decks and make them playable. But um, it just lets them not be able to just a uh, summon stuff from from Finnair and face up and it immediately make a synchro. So um yeah. Really like this change. It is exactly what we expected. And uh yeah, that's it. That's it for the panelists. What do I think? I like this panelist a lot. I really like it. Uh, I like how they hit the flurry skill. I hate I like how they obliterated Lurisk monsters. I I am kind of skeptical if um, unlimiting on some blue robin is good because that means they can still you know have both on some blue and assembled. But uh, given that they hit pretty much everything else, it's it's good. It's a massive consistency hit because um, this used to be a starter, but now you're forced to either not play this card, which really sucks, or you play one of each and uh, Cobalt Sparrow, and this will make place really awkward because uh, you need to make DXCs un uh, using Cobalt Sparrow to get the lingering effect to make it untargetable. So it's a lot better if you have two copies, but um, if it's uh, limited to two alongside Turquoise Warbler, um, it does affect things a lot. And um, it makes it a lot harder for every single one of your DXCs to have that um, target protection. Which is good, because we don't really want the annoying targeting protection uh, on top of the destruction protection that the Xyz already gives all of your monsters. And then uh, Ghost Trick hits are good, I don't really like Ghost Tricks that much. It's, uh, I mean, Ghost Tricks is one of those decks that I also talked about in the last video that it's, you know, it's it's not that strong compared to like the other decks like Liralisk or Predaplan, but um, it's just annoying. And also, um, Whenever it's good, there's a problem with the meta because, um, you know, Liralisk and Predaplan both are insane decks that just, for whatever reason, cannot deal with back row decks, and this is when Ghost Tricks can uh, take advantage of that kind of meta, and so, so yeah, it's good that they get hit and uh, lose access to some of the limit free cards. And um, yeah, Needle Ceiling is probably the best. A trap that, that they could previously play because all of their guys are face down and this is basically a board wipe. Um, stuff like drowning is a lot easier to play around and also they lose summon breaker which is one of the strongest uh, field spells that they could set off of uh, the renovation and if they set something like a necro valley they do hit themselves as well so that's that's uh, not that big of a deal compared to uh, summon breaker. And then uh, Bish Balkan finally banned. Um, they should probably unlimit plus Lumino in how that Bish Balkan is banned, but I don't. I mean, it's fine. Nobody plays it anyway. And then all the unlimits are good. I love that um, uh, Light Brigade is unlimited. Ishell is unlimited. That's amazing. Love Dark Lords. Yeah, good ban list. Really like it. Anyway, um, tell me what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching. I'll probably be making some videos in the following days, and uh, streaming, getting to get into COG in both Speed and Rush, because I haven't done that. But yeah, okay, um, bye. Bye.